Hi, I welcome you back to this wonderful journey of learning structure analysis with Stat Pro. I'm Sudeep and I'm a structural engineer and the leader of Stat Pro technical team at Bentley Systems. I have been working on Stat Pro at Bentley for 17 years and prior to that I have six years of experience as a structural designer. So do not miss out on this opportunity of learning Stat Pro with clear concepts from an expert. In the last session, we were demonstrating how one can define the concrete section within Stat Pro and assign it to the members. We have discussed two assignment procedures, use cursor to assign and assign to selected beams. In this session, we will talk about the rest of the assignment procedures. But before we do that, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button if you are new to this channel to join us in this wonderful journey of learning structure analysis with Stat Pro. And if you have been around this channel, give it a big, big like if I had been able to provide some value. Now we are back to our goalpost frame model again. If you have not seen the last session, please do see that for ensuring continuity to this session. Now we want to assign a rectangular section of the same dimension to all the three members. Let us say that the section size is 250 millimeter by 400 millimeter. So let us now go through the process of defining the rectangular section to all the three members. The first thing that we need to ensure is that we are in the analytical modeling mode and we are in the properties option. Once we are there, you would be able to see the properties whole structure box on the right side of the screen. Now let us click on the define button to define the rectangular section. So we click on rectangle and we define the depth of the section as 0.4 meters and the width of the section as 0.25 meters. Now we have discussed the concept of YD and ZD in the past session. If you are unsure about what YD and ZD is, you can go to the session where I had discussed this in details by clicking on the link that is appearing on the top right of the screen right now. Now we have defined YD as 0.4 millimeters and ZD as 0.25 meters. We retain the material as concrete and we click on the add button. Now let us close the property box and we see that the section that we had defined has been added to the properties whole structure box with a reference number of one. Now we want to assign this particular section to all the three members that you see on the screen. Now, the option that we will choose, the assignment option the, or the assignment method that we will choose to achieve this is the assign to view. Now, once I click on assign to view, this means that all the members that is visible in the viewing area will be assigned this particular section that we have defined. So now that we have selected the assign to view option, go ahead and click the assign button. Now, as soon as we click the assign button, it prompts a message which says that the assignment method you have done, oh, sorry, the assignment method that you have chosen is assigned to view. Do you, do you want to proceed? And our response to this is yes. And we can see that immediately the section related to reference number one indicated by R1 is, has been assigned to all the three members in one go. Now in the same model, let us try our last assignment option, the assign to edit list option. Now say we want to assign circular sections of 0.3 meter diameter to the column members, and we wish to assign a rectangular section of 0.3 meters by 0.4 meters to the beam member. So again, let us go to the properties whole structure box and let us click on the define button and let us define the circular sections first. The circular section is by default selected in the property box and all that we need to define a circular section is the diameter of the circular section defined by the YD parameters. So we put YD parameter as 0.3 meters and we retain the material as concrete. 
we click on the add button then we need to define the rectangular section remember for the beam member so we go to the rectangular option and select the yd value as 0.4 as the beam is of a 0.4 meter depth and the zd which is the width of the rectangular section as 0.3 meters and we click on the add button again we had retained the material as concrete now we cl close the prompt box and if we see the properties whole structure box we can see that both the circular sections and the rectangular section has been added there with the material as concrete for both the cases the circular section has a reference number of one and the rectangular section has the reference number of two now let us first start with assigning the circular section to both the column members so we click on the circular section option with reference number one and we select the assign to edit list option now for using this option we need to specify the member numbers where this section has to be assigned in this edit window below so firstly we have to understand which are the members where we are going to assign the circular sections to so let us switch on the beam numbers so we you know that by now if not you can look at the session that is appearing on the screen right now so click on ok and we can see the member numbers so now we know that the circular section needs to be assigned to member numbers one and three as we intend to assign it to column section so in the edit window we specify one give a space and then say three and now let us click on the assign button and you can see that the reference number one section the section with reference number one which is the circular section has been assigned to the column members now the next thing that we need to do is to select the rectangular section um, and assign it to the beam member which is the beam number two so we say that assign to edit list we select the option assign to edit list and define beam number two in the edit window and click on the assign button and we can see that the section has been assigned to the beam member number two and you can see r2 which is tagged to the rectangular section it appears besides beam number two now one thing that i would like to show you is that if you have highlight assign geometry selected so if i click on the highlight to geometry option and if i click on this particular section it will highlight the sections where the circular section has been assigned to and if i select the rectangular section it will highlight the rectangular section where the section has been assigned to and this can be a very useful tool when uh, the model is large another option that i quickly wanted to uh, show you is that you can actually depict the three-dimensional sectional view uh, in the model so all that you need to do is do a right click click on the structure diagrams once you click on it go to the 3d sections and switch on the full sections and click on apply and ok and you can see that we have a circular section that has been assigned to the columns and a rectangular section that has been assigned to the beam the way that structural mechanics works is that we work on the center line of the sections so that's why you would see that the section is connected center to center now we will explain more about this concept as we go further in the course uh, we are not yet right to discuss this at this moment but uh, just to let you know that this is the way that you can see uh, the three-dimensional representation of the sections in your model um, one more option is if you click on the structure diagrams again you can go for sections outline and this will just give you an outline of the circular and the rectangular sections we will look into the text editor commands for assigning sections in details once we have learned about the steel section orientation steel section assignment 
material definition and assignment from the GUI in the next few sessions. I hope you have liked this session today. If you have, please hit the like button so that the session reaches out to the students looking for a similar content. In the next session, we will look into the orientation of the steel sections about the local access. I hope to see you in that session. Till then, bye-bye.